Listen to put together a Spicer transmission cluster gear. Here's the cluster gear. We've got a dowel pin that's been sanded down to fit through the transmission housing. There's the actual uh, centerpiece. We've got 22 roller bearings, each one in a separate cup, or six washers. And then the centerpiece that goes in there and a couple of pieces of pipe and uh, dowel pins. And we're ready to start assemble the, the pins, the roller bearings into the cluster gear. Inside the cluster gear, we've got the spacer. We have a dowel pin and we have all of our parts inside a cardboard box. And inside that box is, happens to be a drawer. We're using that to hold the things up. And the real secret to this is getting all of those dowel, those roller bearings next to the dowel pin. We're doing that by having it at an angle and they just lay in there like logs. It makes it really, really easy to put them in there this way. Laying it on its side, they all lay in there perfect. Gravity is your friend. Got them all of them in there now, they're nice and tight. And then we put the other washer on. Shove the whole mess inside the cluster gear a little bit. And then repeat the process with another 22 washers. And now we've got it turned over. The bottom side is uh, taped down with a piece of cardboard. And we're doing the other, the small side. We're doing the small side last because it's easier to, to manhandle. Because now we've got the thing full of things and by having the small, the heavy side down, it's just easier to work with. And we're loading this side up with the needle bearings. And again, it's at an angle. That angle makes all the needle bearings just fall right in place. They don't get twisted up. If it were straight up and down, well, they have a tendency to kind of fall sideways. And there goes the last one. Okay, so here we have the completed cluster gear. And it's loaded up with all the bearings in there on both sides. And right now we put this together without any grease in there at all. We did, we, did dry, we did a dry load. Okay, so here goes in the large, the very large washer, and you take it so that the copper, the brass side goes towards the gear, and the metal side goes against the side. Now I put a bunch of grease on here, and that's just to hold it still. So when you put in the cluster gear, everything will remain the same. The other side of the transmission here has got another slot and that's where the two other washers go and there's a slot on the back side of the transmission case that holds that washer from rotating around and then the second washer goes in there and it slides in once the cluster gear is kind of in place in between the two with the with the brass side towards 
the metal washer, basically towards the outside. Okay, we're going to put the cluster gear inside. We have grease that's just holding all of these little components in. Without the grease, things tends to fall out. So I've got my, my dowel pin in there. It's kind of centered up. And then we simply put it in through the hole. And on the far side, I'm going to kind of give it a little support here. It drops in the inside and it lays down flat. And it just kind of goes in the hole. My washer kind of came out over here. Stand by this. Oops. Drop the washer. I'm going to get that washer. There we go. Get that washer back on there. And everything is all good. And then it simply lays down flat in between those other two washers. And that's it. Then we add another washer in there. We'll put the rod in, take the uh, dowel pin out, and we're done. So now I've got the transmission back on the workbench on the table. And I've got the pin started. It's just kind of sitting there right now. The dowel pin is still inside. And then one of the things that'll get you is on the big washer that's on the inside right here, there's a slot that that goes into. If, it, if the washer indent is not in that slot, it's going to put too much pressure on the other side, and you can't get the second washers in there. So we're all set to go. It's ready to be shoved in, and we're ready to uh, go to the next step of working on this Spicer transmission. This T90A-1 transmission in a 1953 M38A1 Jeep. And this is how easy it is to get that that rod in there with because I've got the dowel pin in the inside. It just just kind of works your way right on back on in there. And on the other side, the dowel pin's coming out. And that's all there is to it. We'll get that in there and we'll put the um, the other cluster gears or the, the other gears in next. I should add two more things here at this point too. The the actual spindle that goes in through here goes in that direction and there's that notch. That notch lines up with the other, the uh, reverse idler, the idler gear and then that's the pin that holds that in there. So it goes in one direction. It's slightly thicker on this side than the other. So you always have to go in towards the front of the transmission. So remember that part. That's a gotcha. Because if you do it the other way, you'll tend to make that hole too big and you'll have oil leaks.